Up next, how the foundation named in memory of a four-year-old boy, Christian Rivera, is making breakthroughs to fight rare brainstem tumors that took his life far too soon. We'll talk about that when we come back. Welcome back. It was 2009 when four-year-old Christian Rivera sadly lost his life to a rare and operable brain tumor. In his son's memory, John Gungi Rivera started a foundation to raise awareness and to fund research, which includes trials at Wild Cornell Medical, which have now provided some hope. John is here with us, as well as nationally renowned Wild Cornell pediatric neurosurgeon, Dr. Mark Swedan. John, always good to see you. Hey, good to see you, Antoine. For you look sharp who, as always. For those who don't know about Christian, you talk to us about him. Tell us about him. Christian, vibrant boy, lover of trains, collected Thomas the trains. Uh, he had three collections, UK, the United States, and the Japan collection. Uh, he was very bossy. He knew what he wanted and how to get it. He was an amazing boy. Bossy, I wonder where that came from. <laughs> let's talk about, I know you're here, but we celebrate life, you know, when we Absolutely. talk about Christian, but let's talk about the brain tumor. If yes. you will, just share with us the diagnosis and how it impacted your family when you found out. Wow. Inoperable, zero survivors, about 200 patients are di were diagnosed each year at that time. Survivor rate, dismal, zero. I was given three to nine months to have him. Fortunately for me, he lived two years, a little bit over two years. Um, but since then, there's been so many great uh, trials and uh, medical breakthroughs because of this gentleman to my left, Dr. Mark Swedane. Um, uh, he's doing amazing work and uh, we need to highlight the work that he's doing because uh, the Christian Rivera Foundation has donated over $3 million of which wow. $2 million went to Dr. Swedane and he's doing amazing work and I think that it's imperative that the people support him and his organization and what the work he's doing. Um, Let's bring him in the conversation. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. Dr. Mark Sudane. <laughs> Pleasure. Please tell us about the work and the foundation and just the partnership. As yeah. we talked about, there's some things that you can share and pass on that are offering hope. Yeah, and I appreciate the opportunity. Uh, you know, before I even met John, there, there is a real sense that we wanted to help families of children with brain tumors that were incurable. It just made no sense to us in this day and age. We wanted to move that needle. We put forth together a number of families to support that, mostly bereaved parents like John, who had the willingness to believe in what we were trying to do and trying to accomplish. So we put together the Children's Brain Tumor Project, which is a large research entity. And the large aspect of that, the important aspect of that is to have it go into the clinic where we can offer therapy that might offer somebody some hope. What's the medical term for what Christian had, uh, the exact uh, condition? Sure. He had a tumor called diffuse intrinsic pontine glioma. The acronym is DIPG. Okay. John outlined kind of the tragedy of it, the 0% the survival, uh, short you know, duration of life, incurable from the standpoint of not responding to any therapy. So everything that we've used in children's cancer in the brain or otherwise has not move the needle on this disease. It's centered within what's called the brain stem, which is the connection between your body and your brain. It's the most vital part of your brain. Are there genetic markers? Is there a way to determine, you know, like, is, if this is, like, through genetics? Yeah, you, you might be asking about causation, causation or right. diagnosing. Uh, there's nothing in the blood that you can use to diagnose this disease. Uh, there's no known cause, and that real tragedy of this, it affects kids at an early part of their childhood, seven, eight, nine years of age. Um, so it has to do with developmental aspects of the brain, right when these children are accelerating with regard to the normal right. structures of the brain. We've done stories about AI and yeah. how AI is <coughs> making things advance even more so than what you all do, and, and we yeah. love you for that. Is AI a component that's also helping provide hope to other families? Uh, has that worked into the treatment and, and just the research? In the, the research, AI has had a big impact. So the worldwide community of researchers, you know, and we exist because of foundations like the Christian Rivera Foundation, exist purely because of the philanthropic funds that come in. There's a large body of information that's generated from a lot of laboratories throughout the world. Deciphering that, piecing it together, having some actionable aspect of it, no question is a big, big part of computational biology 
uh, artificial intelligence, sure. When you hear, John, and you meet with families and you've turned your pain into purpose, how's that going? I think it was necessary uh, to be able to be part of hope. There's children on Mark's trial that were part of Mark's trial that shouldn't be alive today. That is amazing. We have a girl 11 years in and we have a boy four years in who is now horseback riding and living his best life. And there's many other uh, examples of that. I'm so proud to be uh, one of Mark's partners in this endeavor. Hope is something that just is contagious. It is. Mark, talk about the things the partnership with Wild Cornell is yeah. doing to effectively do just what John described. Again, I, I don't do this alone. He gives right. me far too much credit. Uh, there, there's a mass of individuals at every level, you know, that starts at the philanthropic aspect of this to drive this. You know, we, we really focused on a simple concept, and that is to change the way we deliver drugs to that part of the brain. You know, constantly kids who are being treated or adults who are being treated for cancer get poisoned by these agents that are within their body. We went directly to the tumor with devices that would allow us to put direct chemotherapy into these tumors. Um, that spares the rest of the body. It concentrates where we want drug. Revolutionary in a lot of ways, you know, simple concept, but in the brainstem, intervention, mm -hmm. surgical procedures, not simplistic and not without risk. You know, so we did that for years, and as John mentioned, boy, oh boy, is that hope? Got three survivors beyond four or five years. It's unprecedented, honestly. Anyone who's looking to help support the foundation and the research mm -hmm. that Mark and the other teams of people that he just mentioned are doing, what's the website, John? ChristianRiveraFoundation.org. We do an annual walk that's coming up on Saturday, June 15th. Okay. Uh, we do an annual gala at Cipriani Wall Street that's coming up on Tuesday, November 12th. That's our flagship event. It's a celebrity gala. Uh, Luis Guzman, Kenan Thompson, so many high profile hosts. Our board members are amazing. We have Gio Rochella, the baseball player, uh, Malik Yoba, the actor, Edgar Belanga, the middleweight champ of the world, Kenan Thompson, Luis Guzman. Mm -hmm. I could go on and on for days. Plus, the, the slew of celebrities that I've worked with in my career that come to the gala. It's truly a celebrity event and it's truly a poppin' party. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave it at that, but it is always good to see you. You too, Antoine. And it's Antoine. always good to hear about the foundation. Thank you for bringing oh, Dr. Mark uh, on the show to talk about the research. And I think the takeaway for me in this is that hope is contagious, and I hope we never lose that. So I'm so glad that you said that and brought that message to share with all and, of us And if today. I may, there's some people that definitely need kudos. Melinda Colon Cox, our chairperson. Rena Cleotta, our executive board member. Dr. Jeffrey Greenfield and Dr. Caitlin Hoffman, his partners. Uh, Cindy Campbell, who runs the Children's Brain Tumor Project. We bring hope, and we will find a cure. We will. <laughs> Come by and Thanks see so us again. Thanks so much, Antoine. All Wonderful right. to meet you.